I want you to listen and listen very carefully. I probably sound relatively terrible right now, and this is why. Hey, what's up guys? Trevor here, Hollywood editor turned, full-time realtor and video coach. On this channel, I teach you to create better videos so you can sell more houses and whatever else you sell. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and flack the bell so you're notified the next time I post a video that's gonna help you grow and scale your business with video. Oh, and if you're really serious about growing your business with video, check out my free webinar at videosecretswebinar.com. Do that as soon as you're done watching this video. Before we get started, I want you to post in the comments below what microphone you're using right now. If it's an external mic, name it. And if it's your built-in mic on your camera or phone, put that in the comments below as well. Back to sounding kind of terrible. The reason I don't sound great right now is because I'm using the built-in microphone on my expensive camera. Even expensive cameras generally have terrible built-in microphones. Here's when you should use the built-in microphone. Never, okay, not never. If you've got one of these and you're in the water, you should probably use the built-in microphone and just make sure you blow it off. Otherwise, it's not gonna sound great. You also might wanna use a built-in microphone if the only camera you have is, say, this one, and all you got is the mic that's on it and you gotta record something and you forgot your good camera or that's your only camera and you don't have a mic for it, then it's okay to use the built-in microphone. But otherwise, you should probably never use the built-in microphone. It's gonna sound just like this. This is the mic I've been using for two or three years now and I still love it and it's still kind of great, but it might be time for a change. Let me, let me put it back on real quick. And now we're recording with the Rode VideoMic Pro. It should sound considerably better, especially since I'm doing some of the things right in terms of how to use a mic, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Another mic's been released that has some advantages over the VideoMic Pro. We're gonna test this mic out now, live. I don't know if it's good enough, but I've heard good things about it. First, a formal unboxing. That's it, with all its little parts. Guess it's got a cable, it's yellow, that's kinda nice. Guess that's all it comes with. Let's talk about the features of this new microphone and the reasons that this may be the best microphone for realtors, vloggers, and other content creators. Number one, it comes with a dead cat. This is a dead cat, a windscreen. It actually comes with two of them. Why would it have two of them? This is the thing, let's just get into it, that I'm most excited about. This has two microphones one on the front and one on the back. When you are recording, usually you are facing the microphone towards yourself and the camera towards yourself if you're vlogging or staring at the camera, but sometimes you turn the camera around and you're pointing at things out there and you wanna still talk and talk about what you're pointing at. Like for example, I could do this and have the mic pointing at the house, but the other mic pointing at my face so I'm still talking going, hey, check out this new house that I'm building. And you'd be able to hear me just as clearly as you hear me right now because if I only had the one mic and it was facing away from me like that, it, it wouldn't sound very good. You plug the microphone into your camera here with this output jack right into your camera with this fancy yellow cable. And here you have another input. What's that for? That's because you can plug a second mic into this mic and record both of them to your camera at the same time. When you plug into the input, it makes the back mic inactive and the input would work for a second mic such as a lavalier mic and then you still have audio coming in from this front mic. And another great feature is this right here. You can have discrete channels, it'll record on one track, that front mic, and on the other track, either the back mic or the mic plugged into here. What? Sometimes when there are two people on camera, one of you is louder than the other, so you want to be able to mix the levels separately. Put it on this setting, and you'll be able to individually adjust the levels from this mic and this mic, or this mic and the input. That is a pretty amazing feature. This mic comes with both a cold shoe, which is this square thing here, and this 3 8 inch screw mount so you can mount it on top of a tripod, making it very versatile. These are both shotgun mics, meaning they are directional and they will help in cutting out background noise. The mic that is built into your camera is probably not a shotgun mic and it'll pick up sound in all directions. These windscreens, also known as dead cats, besides being great finger puppets, will really help you out if you are recording in windy conditions. 
audio that might be completely unusable in the wind suddenly becomes usable if you're using a dead cat. I recently made a video about vlogging on the GoPro and I used my Rode VideoMic Pro. That microphone is so big that you can see it when you're in the wide setting on the GoPro. It is not a great mic for vlogging on a GoPro. On the other hand, this Deity D4 Duo is the perfect size for a GoPro. It's light, it fits the form factor, and it probably won't appear in the frame even if you're on the super wide setting. Now I'm using the Deity D4 Duo microphone. How does this sound compared to what you've been hearing so far, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro? Now, in all fairness, this microphone is 18 to 20 inches away from my face. When I was using the Rode, doing the hands-on stuff, showing you the camera, that mic was just inches away from my face. But for comparison, this is me talking on the Deity D4 Duo. And this is what I sound like on the Rode VideoMic Pro. How does this sound compared to the Deity D4 Duo. Can you hear any difference? The Rode VideoMic Pro is about twice as costly as the Deity D4 Duo, but it only has one microphone. So what do you think? The Rode VideoMic Pro or the Deity D4 Duo in exactly the same place. Speaking of the quality of the sound, one thing that matters a lot to me as a guy that has done a lot of voiceover is the noise floor. The noise floor is how many decibels are you hearing when you aren't speaking? How much background noise are you picking up? So I'm just gonna be quiet for a second so I can test this and compare it. So here it is with the Deity D4 Duo. Noise floor, me not speaking. My arm's getting tired. And now let's check the noise floor on the Rode VideoMic Pro. I'll just be quiet for a second if I can control myself. What do you think? Could you hear a difference? Now let's just do a quick test using the DDD4 Duo. That's mic I have on here right now in a real life situation. This is what I would be doing if I was just vlogging with this mic. The mic could be about this far from my face. It would sound about like this. You'd hear my feet about like this. And if I wanted to show you something like, oh, hey guys, check out my house that I'm building. And I can talk because I've got a microphone back here and you can still hear me just as clearly. Now, if it didn't have a mic back here, it wouldn't sound nearly as good. It'd be muffled because the mic would be facing the wrong direction. And I can just flip it back this way and continue talking and show you things that I didn't know about. I've never built a house before and I didn't realize that I needed to have my own well. So here's what a well looks like in case you haven't seen one. That's, uh, that's my well house. I guess it's not really the well. A little dark, but that's what a well looks like. And that's how much pressure my well's putting out. By the way, I also had to get a generator because they couldn't start working on my house till I had power and this wasn't ready in time. I'm gonna take off in a day or two for probably a month to head east and see the world, but I'll still be posting, still here for you. In the meantime, would you like a tour of the inside of the house I'm building? How would you like to see what I'm doing with this house? I am actually really excited about one part, but post in the comments below if you'd like a full tour of the inside before I'm done, because this is gonna be my office and my studio with probably two or three shoot spaces in there. So gotta admit, I'm, I'm pretty jazzed about that. So if you'd like to see a tour of my partially finished house, post in the comments below like really quickly because I'm, I'm blown out of here in a day or two. My partial verdict now, not having listened to the audio, is that this is a great option for pretty much anybody that wants to create content on YouTube, whether you're a realtor, entrepreneur, vlogger, YouTuber, whatever, it's great because you can mount it on your camera, you can talk front and back, and you can mount it on a boom pole over your face right here when you're in the studio. You don't need a lavalier mic. This is probably gonna sound better than a lavalier mic because it's pointing at your mouth. When you have a lavalier mic down here, it's kinda catching the audio from your chest and that is not the way we're meant to hear it. So a shotgun mic pointed down at your mouth eight to 12 inches away is the ideal way to capture audio when you're recording in a studio. So you could use this mic for virtually everything, including maybe even an interview because you can plug a lavalier mic in there for your guest or you could actually face it this way and your guest is here, you're talking to your guest, and you're talking to this microphone. Tap, 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 back here. Whoa, how cool is that? A mic that does everything. This and a lavalier and you're, you're golden. So let's go see how it sounds, and I'll give you my final verdict in one second. By the way, I've been living in, uh, wait, I'll do it this way. I've been living in that for the past three months full-time RV living baby. In fact, I've got a channel and I'll link it right up there. 
It's about living full time in an RV. It's called Life Untethered. You should check out that channel as well. It's, it's dope, bro. Ooh, one other feature I forgot about. The Rode VideoMic Pro, this baby requires a nine volt battery. This uh, DD D4 Duo, no battery required. <gasps> How awesome. 346 minutes later. Okay, I've checked out the audio. I have reached a verdict. Now, this is not really a fair comparison. The DDD4 Duo is less than half the cost of a Rode VideoMic Pro. A better comparison would have been the Rode Video Micro. If I needed a new microphone and wanted to spend under $100, I would 100% get the DDD4 Duo. For the price, it is amazing. Having the ability to record front and back sounds great. Now, when I compare the DDD4 Duo to the Rode Video Mic Pro, the Rode VideoMic Pro does sound better. It sounds richer and fuller to me. For the noise floor test, I adjusted the levels of the speaking so that they were the same and then compared the noise floor. The noise floor on the DDD4 Duo was about minus 24 and on the Rode VideoMic Pro is about minus 40, but they sounded you know, almost the same. So the noise floor is great. That's a non-issue. It's a good quality microphone, just not quite as rich as the Rode VideoMic Pro. If you're looking for an all-in-one microphone that does everything pretty dang well, it's it's a great it's a great bet. It works on your regular camera, works in the studio, works on your GoPro. You can plug a lavalier mic into it. If you like the feature set and the way the DDD4 Duo sounds, I've got a link for it in the description. You can check it out. If you want to learn how to make your audio sound better, no matter what microphone you're using, even if it's the built-in microphone on your phone, go ahead and check out that video right there. Remember to subscribe by hitting that button right down there. I can't wait to hear your amazing videos.